Civil Engineering Academy. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from structures. The problem states a hollow steel tube is shown below. Based on the information provided, find the deflection at the end of the tube. So we've got a distributed load, outside diameter is 10 inches, thickness 0.25 inches, modulus of elasticity, 15 feet long. This thing is fixed at the end. So let's go ahead and draw this out. Here's our tube. Oh crap, that wasn't very good, but I think you get the idea. Let's redo that. Here is our tube. A little better, okay. So the diameter here is 10 inches. That means that the radius here we will call R2 and this one we will call, let's call this R1. R2 is equal to 5 inches and R1 is equal to 4.75 inches because the thickness is 0.25. We're going to need this later in the problem. So I drew it out. All right, so the first thing I'm really going to do is go to the Civil Engineering Reference Manual and Appendix 44.A in the edition that I'm using has a case 2 for uniform loads. Looks exactly like what we're dealing with here. And that tells us um, basically that Y max, max deflection is W L to the fourth over 8EI. Okay, the other one I'm going to use out of Appendix 42.A A, and for a circle we're going to find the moment of inertia and we're going to have to modify it a little bit because we're, we're dealing with a, a still tube, not really a circle. So we gotta, we're going to take pi force and we're going to take R2 to the fourth minus R1 to the fourth instead of just one R. Okay, so we, we basically have everything. We just need to plug, in, plug it all in. So this is basically pi fourths times 5 to the fourth minus 4.75 to the fourth. And what do I get? I get 91.05 inches to the fourth. And we need to convert everything into inches. So 15 feet, that's 180 inches and 300 pounds per foot. That's going to equal 25 pounds per inch. So let's plug everything into here. So W is 25 and L is 180 times 180 to the fourth divided by 8 times 29 times 10 to the sixth PSI times I, which is 91.05 inches to the fourth. You want everything in inches because it'll all cancel out and give us inches. Um, and I could have written all those units out, but I'll let you figure that out. Make sure your units are correct. So uh, what do I get? Y max. I get 1.24 inches is the maximum deflection of this. Answer to that looks like it is A. So I hope that helped you out. This is a uh, good structures problem. They probably will ask something like this where you're going to need to use the appendix or the... the uh, still AISC manual to look up um, you know the max deflections for different scenarios so hope that helped you head to Civil Engineering Academy for more tips and tricks related to the PE. Thanks bye.